Hello and welcome to the August edition of this month's experiment from the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center in San Diego, California. I'm Nicole Schiffer. And I'm Brandon Elliott. Here we are in our beautiful new tinkering studio it's where we awesome. make lots of cool things every day. And today we're going to be making stomp rockets. Really, really cool thing. We want to thank the author of this book, Kurt Gabrielson, who gave us the idea for this experiment. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you the materials that you need. But remember, you can find all the materials that you'll be needing for this on our website, which is www.rhfleet.org. All right. Here we go. We need some plastic bottles, one plastic bottle per rocket, obviously, a bicycle inner tube or a vacuum hose, some kind of tubing like that, about two feet of either PVC or metal piping. Um, that should work. You're going to need duct tape and uh, any some other kind of scotch tape or masking tape as well. Um, and uh, let's see, oh, file folders, cardstock, things like that to construct your rocket out of. Any kind of thick paper would work well. And then any other things to make it really cool, like feathers? If that's your thing, I guess, yeah. All right, thanks, Brandon. Let's get started. So I'm going to start by making the rocket first. You're going to start out by taking your PVC pipe and rolling the paper on it. Not too tight, though, because you don't want it to get stuck. All right, we tape that. And you're gonna tape it one more time. And maybe once more. All right, so it's fully taped. Oops. And then you're gonna make your nose cone. And you're gonna fold it like this and then wrap it over itself. One more piece of tape, please. Thank you, and I'm gonna need two more. All right, then you're going to fit it on the top. Thank you. And tape it completely sealed as much as you can. One more. One more. <laughs> And then you're going to have your fins ready and tape them on the side like so. And one more. And this is your finished rocket. Or like this. All right, and now you have to name your rocket. What are we naming ours? Uh, boy, I don't know. Lime green, let's, let's just call that uh, the Skittle rocket. Why not? The Skittle rocket? Yeah. All right, you can go ahead and get that started. Oh, boy. The Skittle rocket. Yeah. Hmm. Those are all right, now we're going to make the launcher. So you're going to need your water bottle, unscrew the cap, and the hose. I'm going to need your help again. I'm going to only need to learn how to spell Skittle. How about that? That looks I spelled good. Spelled it wrong. Yeah. Yikes. All right. So what do you need? Cool. Show the folks at home. Oh, there it is. Skittle. Just imagine it flying through space. That's right. Or your household or museum. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to need some duct tape, please. All right. And we're going to connect the water bottle to the hose using some duct tape. There we go. One, two, rocket. You want to make sure you do that nice and tight so none of the air escapes as you're stomping down on the bottle. Good advice. All right, then you're gonna tape the PVC pipe to the hose. So how far do you think this, this will, the rocket will launch? What do you think? I'm gonna say 14 feet. Really? Yeah, what about you? I'm gonna say 100. Okay. 100 feet. All right, so then you have your launching device. And all you have to do is put the rocket on the end of your PVC pipe and take it to a good place, safe place, and aim it and stop on it. We're gonna show you shortly. So, 
basically how this works is that when you stomp on the bottle, the volume of the bottle is reduced, and though, so the air has to get pushed out of there. The air has to go somewhere. So <laughs> the rocket's in the way of the air, so the rocket gets shot out on the other end. So when you launch your rocket, you want to be thinking things like, when does the rocket shoot off the fastest? Um, how can you change the direction of it possibly? All kinds of cool things like that uh, to make your rocket the best rocket it can be. Thank you, Brandon. That was an awesome explanation. And thank you, viewers, for watching. Remember to check in next month for this month's experiment. And also remember, do, do try, try this, this at home. home.